I'm Will Johnston. I'm a dad of six kids. Now if you were to come and see me afterwards, you'd only see about five kids running around. That's because my wife Sarah is uh, pregnant with our number six. Um, we've just recently set up JCC Build, in which we're very passionate about building and the company. We're passionate also about young families and we're passionate about our community to Kōwhai, uh, where we currently live, but also Hamilton as well. One of the other things I'm really passionate about is the Word of God. Uh, this is uh, largely to do with the fact that it's set a lot of foundation in my life and each day as I read it, it gives me guidance. So a habit that I've formed over the years, it probably started when I was about 14, was picking up my Bible and just taking time to read it each day. What I um, discovered early on is I didn't really forget to have breakfast. It was I couldn't go out the door with a, um, a, a empty tummy, and so I decided that hey, if I was going to read the uh, Word of God and have value, put it have value in my life, then um, I'd do it before I had my breakfast. So that's a habit that I've continued on, um, and so I'll sit at the breakfast bar, the same seat every morning and just read the, the Word of God for approximately about 15 minutes. I just read from start to finish, so I start at Genesis and I work my way through to Revelation over a period of maybe one to two years. If I think back over the last however many years, I, I can actually start to see that through reading the Bible each day, I've obtained knowledge from the Bible. and. It's not often until you're faced, a, say, a life situation that you realise that you have that knowledge on board. So one of the um, benefits that I've seen recently is just coming on to eldership at City Bible Church. Um, so just the responsibility and decision making that needs to happen as, as part of that. Um, it's great to just have an understanding, a better understanding of the Word of God. So I often find that as I'm reading from cover to cover over a period of one to two years that you can get um, bogged down or, or stuck um, when say reading through genealogies and, and things that feel like they don't have a relevance in my life. Um, but also I find that when I'm reading through say like a story of David and I'm connecting with his character and his decisions and that sort of thing, I find that it does actually challenge me and I do um, feel a, a, perhaps a response to what I'm reading. You probably wouldn't believe it but a number of years ago Sarah and I had a desire to have kids and we just thought yep it's fine if, if you want to have kids you have kids but after a, a period of about three years we, we came to understand that it wasn't so easy and it was quite challenging because we obviously uh, we hadn't conceived uh, within that three years. So as a result of that, um, I guess it was a heartache, um, perhaps more for Sarah than myself. Um, but it it drove me to the Word of God to actually find answers. It was um, it was a time in our lives where it felt like. Um, everything was going good, but the one thing we actually desired was was not not happening. During this time, I discovered Proverbs uh, 30 verse 15. There are three things that are never satisfied, four that never say enough: the grave, the barren woman, land which is never satisfied with water, and fire which never says enough. And after a reading this, I just went away going, "There's actually something different between." Sarah, my wife, and me and the way I'm made. And I, it gave me a greater understanding into perhaps what she was experiencing and feeling, the emotion, the heartache, and just, just the desire that was, felt like was not being met. And, and through that, I think I was able to support her and show love to her. And, and I guess be, be a blessing to her and not a, a, an extra burden in, in the matter. Um, and as it turned out, we look back and just say, God has blessed us. As I look back, I can see that I've formed a habit of reading the Bible most days. But the funny thing is, is when I started out, I, I wasn't intending on reading the Bible each day or intending on, on forming the habit. It was just as a result of a desire to know God and understand what His Bible, His Word had to say. 
So now when I read the Bible, it's not out of obligation or continuing this habit I've formed, but it's anticipating what God was going to teach me to help me moving forward.